Hey everybody, always dizzy here. Thought I would make a different type of video for, for a little change. Um, okay, so this is old news. This is very old news, so I don't know how this video will go. I'm sure the majority of you already know about this, but I thought I would make a video um, just to help maybe refresh your memory. And um, not all of you will have heard about this anyways. So some time ago, um, some people uh, proposed that FIDE uh, change their rating system um, because there is a lot of uh, rating deflation and underrated players um, that really showed themselves um, from the pandemic. And uh, especially in certain geographical areas like India, for example, uh, where there is a an extreme underrated problem there. Um, FIDE did accept this proposal and agreed to um, change, to, to do a one-time change to everybody's uh, rating, if, if FIDE rating. So as you might already be looking at while I was talking, this, this graph, I'm not sure, I think this was created with the original proposal, but it's a, it's a fantastic uh, image no, I think I said graph, it's not a graph. It's a fantastic image that perfectly illustrates um, what this one-time rating change does. And yeah, essentially it compresses the the ratings. And so um, I should mention that, yeah, because this, is, this image, again, this was created for the original proposal that was um, sent to FIDE to uh, consider. But essentially, for anyone that's rated over 2,000 FIDE, nothing happens to their rating. Um, but for everyone below FIDE, uh, below 2,000 FIDE, um, there is a simple formula that, a very simple formula that is done to give a one-time increase to your rating. So it's not essentially, but um, actually, the the formula is would be 2,000 minus your rating multiplied by 0.4. So for me, my rating is currently 1717 um, FIDE. It, um, it is a provisional rating, so I'm not sure if they're going to, if that's going to affect anything, but if it doesn't, the way this would work is, whoops, give me one second here. So this is my current rating. By the way, I found this little website that I can use to type like this. This is awesome. I'm going to use this in the future. I, I can't draw on it. That's the only thing I would like to do, but that, that that's going to be so handy in the future. So I yeah, my current FIDE rating is 1717. And if we use that, that formula, so 2000 minus 1717 is 283. Um, and then if I multiply that by 0.4, that's a hundred. So I, I get a increase of 113.2. So my, my, uh, one, one time, one time increase will be 113.2. And then we just add those two numbers together, which is 1830. So I'll say my, my new, whoops, new FIDE rating is 1830.2. So you can, if you have a current, if you have a FIDE rating, you can do this yourself. Again, the formula is, um, and let me do it exactly here. So I'll say the formula is like this. So 2000 minus your, your rating multiplied by 0.4. That will be your new rating. And this takes effect on March 1st, 2024. So as I, I'm going to post this video in a day or two from now. So basically in two weeks after this video is posted, um, FIDE will update the ratings and this should take effect at that time. So kind of surreal that I will be 1830 FIDE. Because uh, to me, that's very high. Um, I only ever played one FIDE rated tournament. So I'm probably overrated, honestly. I'm probably, not many people will say they're overrated, but... I don't know, especially once I get this boost, 1830, that's, that's, 
That seems so wrong, but I'll take it. I'll take it, I guess. Whoops, by the way, I shouldn't, I sh I shouldn't go point 0.2. I should round it down. I'm not sure what they're doing with the rounding, um, if they do normal rounding or what, but we'll say 1830 will be my new rating. Can I make this bold? Is that a possibility? I can. Yeah, so that'll be my new rating. Um, yeah, so the, the nice thing is, everybody, you get a rating boost. You get a rating boost. You get a rating boost. Everybody gets a rating boost. Nobody goes down. Um, if you're 2,000, you don't get a, or, or higher, you don't get a rating boost. But you're high enough. You don't need anything. <laughs> um, along with this, there were a few other changes. Um, not nearly as interesting as the rating boost. Uh, one of them is that the minimum ELO for, for FIDE is, is changing from 1,000 to 1,400. So as far as I understand it, that's going to make it much more difficult to get a FIDE rating. Um, you have to be stronger now to get a FIDE rating. Um, and if you fall below that, what happens? I'm not sure. I guess you'll be 1,400. I, I, I'm not 100% sure about that. There's also something else. Um, there is now a 400 point rule in effect. So if there is a rating difference greater than 400 between two players, it will now only be um, calculated as 400. So if I play Magnus Carlsen um, and he wins, if he wins, um, then it's only calculated as if he a, a 400 point difference as opposed to a 1000 point difference literally <laughs> yeah and there's a few other tiny little changes too i will put the the official announcement of, um, from fide in the description of this video that if you want to find more details about that uh yeah that's kind of all i wanted to to say um so yeah let me know in the comments Calculate that out using that formula I gave you. Calculate it and let me know what your new rating will be and what you think about that. Um, but yeah, this, this graph is also pretty cool too. So it, um, if you were a thousand before, so the lower rated you are, the bigger jump you will see. And conversely, the higher rated you are below, being under 2000, the less of a jump. Um, so, so people rated a thousand are going to be about four. And I think that's, yeah, I think that's correct. So if you were a thousand, you're going to be about fourteen hundred. If you were eleven hundred, you're going to be fourteen sixty. Huge jumps at the lower levels. Um, if you're nineteen hundred, not as big of a jump than nineteen forty. But yeah, that's the compression there for you. So yeah, hopefully this was interesting slash useful. Um, yeah, going to keep it short there. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.